So after you log into your account, you can click on progress report. This will give you a list of all your students. Uh, right now I'm hiding student name, license number and the driving school name. So if you check the first student um, did not complete the course yet. So the 20 hour course is 22% complete and the 10 hour course is 0% complete. Um, let's say we only want to see students who have completed both courses. From the option here, uh, you can change to, um, let's select the second option, which is show only with 100% progress. Now we have a list of students who have completed both courses. When you certify your students, it's important to mark your students complete in the Truby Cars system as well. The reason is, um, let's say after six months or one year, you might have many students, maybe 500, 1000 students. So you will actually end up with a very long list here. And we don't really like if student is already certified, we don't really need to see that student in the active students list. So in order to mark student complete in the Truby Car system, first you can click on this option. So that will give you, uh, that will show you a list of students who have completed both courses. Now let's say this student um, has completed everything, the in-car lessons, and we already certify this student in the ministry website. Then in the Truby Car system, you just have to enter the hours, in-car hours. So maybe the student has completed 10 hours or more than 10 hours. So you will just enter a number and then you click on this box here. So that will actually uh, mark this student complete and it will be moved from active to inactive list. If you have any questions or suggestions, uh, feel free to reply to this email or you can uh, give me a call or send me a text message. Uh, your suggestions are always welcome. Um, that's how we improve our uh, program pretty much every week. Yeah, so let me know um, what your thoughts are. Thank you.